Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So, the thing about this episode uh, that's kind of coincidental is that this is the exact segment in the BFLG, like I did the entirety of the World of Ruin in the BFLG first. And this is the exact segment where uh, my video quality took a bit of a boost there. Because I fiddled around with some of the settings more, managed to get it a little bit better. Still not like super good HD or anything like that, but it's somewhat better now. And uh, it also turns out to be the exact segment in Brave New World where I got a bit of a quality boost because I got a new headset and I actually have a microphone on it now. So I'm not recording directly from the laptop sound card and sticking my face right next to it. Uh, that was always not only kind of awkward, but it also sounded worse. And there was that annoying rumbling noises in the background. That definitely seems to be something to do with the sound card on my laptop. So that's out of the way now. Right and down. Uh, so here. One, two. I can't just go right and down from there, as tempting as that is. Because there's actually a random two-space gap for no reason I could possibly think of. It's just this red. The entire uh, rampart here looks kind of flat, but you, there's just two spaces where you can walk downward. I I presume that's some sort of mistake on the developer's part, but also it's kind of faster to do this, even though it requires a little bit more memorization, just because like pseudo diagonals take a while. It's hurt. It's a lot harder to gauge when I've hit the end, and I waste a lot of time doing that if I don't have to do them. Besides, this segment isn't too bad. There's probably no battles in this segment. Probably meaning if I don't get a battle on the three steps between Gogo and the save point. Or rather, probably four steps. Alright, so this is the only pseudo-diagonal I actually have to do here otherwise I'll just run back into the door. But other than that, the ramparts are flat all the way up to the top, all the way to the left. Besides, I do all my memorization at once because I can just back out the same way I came in, essentially. Not that this part's hard to visualize at any rate. I mean, it's just kind of long, straight hallways. Alright, now I hit this random pillar, which is kind of helpful. There's Dome is actually pretty nice in general, really. There's noises all everywhere, and everything just kind of works out the way I want it to, for the most part. Except for that random two-space gap, that's just complete trolling. But, yeah, I feel like a bit of an idiot for not getting all the treasures here earlier. Uh, I don't remember half of them, but I know for sure that mirror same would have come in handy a couple times, I think. And an extra elixir for Apple Weapon theoretically could have come in handy, but I didn't run out, so... I don't really have any disadvantage to grabbing it now at that rate, then. There was no attempt that was killed because I ran out of elixirs. And that would be the only scenario where getting the elixir here earlier would have mattered. Alright, just grab that stuff. Two to the bed two to the clock, got an elixir, two to the bed, two to the chest, all the way down. Alright, now I just leave the entire area. That way I can tell when I've reached the... I can tell when I've reached the bottom of the second room when I enter from the this door. But if I don't do it this way, it's kind of awkward. Well, it would be conceivably doable. I guess I could go right from the chest down to the uh, thing, left and down to go out the door, and then right and up to get to the other door, but, eh, whatever. This works too. Alright, stooge time. The science dream is slightly more forgiving than I almost would have expected. The random encounters in here are the biggest schmucks in a long time, and, like, even Solo Gogo doesn't really have a problem with it let alone once all my other characters get there. And then, uh, the Stooges are a joke, obviously. Not a completely 100% brain-dead fight or anything, but they, they're they not really putting me through my paces. And 
I was thinking the soul fires would be difficult because they have Meteo, and that's kind of dangerous. But then I found out that's literally all they have. I, like, completely forgot. Because everything else is a fire move, and I've got tons of protection against that by this point. So it's like, who cares? Alright, so that took a whopping five minutes. The next segment, mini segment will be a while, though. Uh, it, it, the Stooges take a while to kill, even if they're not that difficult. Alright then, let's try this segment again. I had one fail at this before, and it's because I made the dumbest mistake I could possibly imagine, which essentially ended the run all by itself. And that is forgetting to hit the record button on OBS. Isn't that just wonderful? So I did the entire segment, because obviously I can't see OBS when the laptop is blindfolded, without realizing that I wasn't recording, and this one's kind of long too, so I'm not entirely looking forward to doing it again, but whatever, I guess I have to now. Didn't really have any qualms with how it went the first time either, so I didn't... I got a little bit of bad luck during the boss fight, but nothing too ridiculously serious, and... I don't really feel like I made any big mistakes, although at the same time the mistakes make it more interesting, <laughs> in a way. Alright, so now I go down and right until I hit Terra, or until I hit this encounter. Go go set up to take these guys out on its own, so... One, two, three, four, ugh, I made a lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Sometimes when enemies make noises at the same time as me, it's hard to know if my cursor's moved or not. So yeah, Mar Marlboro Rage is pretty darn good for this part. It, it's it got region, uh, which is great because that saves me a relic slot, and it allows Gogo -Go to heal and... Uh, heal and attack at the same time, which is great when he's solo. And the region's enough to cover his healing, because the enemies in this segment, they're not all that dangerous, relatively speaking, to a lot of the other segments. So, uh... And, and that Reflect Ring deals with every all the attacks that would be just too powerful. Ice Guard helps with Absolute Zero, he's got an Ice Guard equipped as well, which is nice. And finally, he's also got the Ribbon to protect, protect against the uh, couple of status ailments here that could actually go off. So he, he's pretty solid here, although the odds of him getting sneezed away are honestly pretty high. It's just the only downside, because then he doesn't get any of the XP from the fight if something sneezes him away. Is that the end of the fight? Oh, apparently, yeah. Well, that fight went good. Uh, went well, apparently. All right, I think I hit Terra. Okay, good. When as soon as I uh, talk to Terra, it moves me around to the right side of her, which is kind of friendly. So yeah, I go through this door. This room, like. Rooms like this are weird to visualize in my head because they don't actually make any sense if you think about it. Uh, okay, this has to be go go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Why did I do that? They were both uh, on where they needed to be. I could have just held A. That was dumb. I didn't need to figure out which one was itch in the first place, even. But yeah, the now that I've got Terra back, things get even easier, because now Terra's beating up on them as well. And I've got two characters to tank hit, so there's just no way they're cutting through Gogo's region now. Although it'll cost me a couple dried meats to heal. In fact, I should have healed up after the first battle, because... That can actually be a dumb move sometimes, not healing up Gogo. -Go. He's not that tanky, but it's good enough to get me through these battles. Anyway, it's also nice that, uh, I mean, Bad Breath puts a whole whack of statuses on them, for one, but uh, 
there also a lot of things are weak to poison here, weak to the status of poison as well. So it actually cleans up pretty nicely around here. The poisonous attacks. It's not uh, extremely massive damage, but it's enough to get me through the fight. I've been using a lot more status ailments and instant death attacks in this run, I've noticed. Because I've got to do all the planning anyway, so half the time the biggest obstacle to using the status effects and uh, instant death and stuff is not knowing whether it's going to work or not. And that's not an issue here, because I have to know what it's going to work and what's not going to work <laughs> to begin with. Alright, is that the end of that? Apparently, yes. Gogo's fine. One, two, three. No one needed those either. Lighten up. Okay, there we go. Alright, next stream it sends me to is the choice between two doors, which obviously makes no difference to me. Because obviously I know the route. This area is uh, fairly easy to navigate overall, despite the wonkiness of the visuals around here. Because... Uh, okay. Because everything's just so compact, there's a lot of doors around the place. There we go. Go up. All the way to the left. Down, left, up. Alright. It's nice that I run into the side of the door there, just conveniently, because that means I don't have to line myself up with it very much. I'm just... It's very easy to... I mean, it's not like I normally run into the side of a door, because that just doesn't happen anywhere else other than Science Dream, pretty much, as far as I can know. Because usually there's a house behind the door, which is the reason why you're not walking into the side of it. <laughs> Two down. I go right and up. Uh, well, whatever. One more fight. That's Gogo. That's Realm. That's Terra. Not that I really need to know. I'll just have Realm throw around brush healing for now. Let's not waste her MP. I know she's got Osmos, but at the same time, why not just not use her MP yet and. Especially since these guys are pretty, really bad, but why not just not use her MP and then save it all for later when I actually am in some danger of getting hurt by things. Swack Terra, I guess. Terra's defense, magic defense is far lower than the other two. Hers is actually pretty low right now because she doesn't have a shield. I don't usually like the shieldless setups, but... Uh, here it's okay. Gogo's got his region for it, going for him. I'm not going to hit him with the brush. Their Rasp spells are completely ineffective against my wall of reflect here. The reflect is... A lot of it is for the stooges, but... It also helps with the encounters around here for several reasons, like that Rasp, because otherwise I'd have to waste supplies rehealing my MP. I'd at least need to make sure that I that Terra has some for Dispel, and Realm would probably want fully MP going in too. As expected, I hadn't hit R Terra with the brush recently, so she needed a little bit. Okay, right and up until I get to this random spot. Down, right, into the door. Hello, stooges. Get ready to be stoogy. Not even sure what I meant by that, but whatever. Alright, so let's see who comes up first. This is Terror Gogo. This time it's actually important that I figure out which is which. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Don't want to mess that up. Uh, so this is uh, Realm, and I want her to scroll down to... What was that? 
sounded like a smack, but I'm not... Oh, like... Okay, whatever. I'll just rely on really Region X to take care of everything for me, and Terra can morph. Terra doesn't need to slow them, because Bad Breath's doing that anyway. Same deal as in the dungeon, except the poison status doesn't work in this fight. Which is regrettable, I guess, but... They can't make it too easy. Actually... Well, this fight is pretty darn easy either way, but... I guess can't make it that fast. Uh, it sounds like things are still happening, which is weird. But, zone seek, because I want to boost Terra's magic just a bit for later. Oh, darn it, I attacked the wrong one. I meant to attack Curly first, as is the obvious solution to this fight. But, apparently I decided to hit Yellow Guy once. I can never re remember which of the blue and yellow stooges is which, so I just call them Yellow Guy and Blue Guy. <laughs> or at least I will here. Uh... I was a little bit confused for a second, because I... Usually Terra and Realm just alternate, but... That summon cast is so long, Terra's attacks are kind of short, so... Alright, so... I don't remember exactly what I did... So, up to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Meteor. I wasted a lot of time there that I was supposed to be regioning up during their animations, but I need to get set up on Meteor after all. That's the only. That's the last bit of setup I think I actually need to do, though. And I. It, it's good if I start slipping attacks in between their attacks and desyncing them a bit, because then they might fire delta attacks at themselves instead of at me. Which obviously carries some advantages, <laughs> like the fact that they're not doing anything at all to hurt me, and the fact that they're blasting themselves for no reason. But of course that wasn't aimed in the wrong direction. Hopefully no one died. Uh, that's the riskiest part of the fight, if that went through. They're smacking themselves now. So, <laughs> the song delays in this fight where I kind of don't do anything myself because they're busy punching each other. And it's actually a little bit disconcerting, but... There we go, Terra's alive. Realm's alive. This point is when... Yeah, it goes live. So yeah, now my region should be taking care of everything, because I'm not wasting time in the menus during their animations. So I should have plenty of time to region overall. And it's not even just like one large animation they use all the time, it's... They use Reflect, and then Haste 2, and then... Whatever, so there's tons of, uh... Meat... <laughs> tons of times for the, uh... Region to kick in, in the middle. Quick, continue punching each other, that'll help. Well, thrown wing edge, that'll shorten the fight a little. Meteor's better damage overall right now, because... It's likely at least some of that meteor damage will contribute to killing the other two stooges later. And... Uh, Larry's, uh, well, the one I want, instinctively want to call Larry, but I, I'm not 100% sure. I, yellow guy is the most dangerous part of this fight, so... I also want to have extra bonus damage going off against him before that part of the fight begins. Yeah, because I don't think I heard a, a, a reflect noise before that delta attack, so I think I might have successfully desynced them. Not that I had anything to do with that, it was just all luck. And it might legitimately just be all luck, because I think it might have something to do with uh, bad breath hitting some and missing the others. Okay, so that's uh, one suit out of the way. Now I'll probably spend the time flaring yellow. Oh, 
But for now, I'll dispel on yellow so that he doesn't get his region. Usually, Realm's pretty much out of MP at this point. Actually, I should probably spend the turn using Osmos because it can be helpful to have some MP. I'll spend two turns using Osmos here. That's probably the safest option. Even if I lose a flare on uh, yellow. I don't want to make this fight any longer than it has to be, but... To have essentially unlimited region Xs. Or at least as many as I should realistically need. Let's uh, dispel on him. Or rather, reach it off him. Hopefully that hit. I should have one more before he puts Reflect on himself and then I can't touch him with Realm. I mean, I could use a Meteor, but... It's probably likely to be just a waste if I use Meteor, so I don't want to do that. They're still just firing at each other at the moment, so I don't need to worry about my own team. It's kind of weird having to take into consideration them attacking themselves, but whatever. Alright. So Realm should have enough time to do a flare. Let's do a flare. Actually, no, I'm, I'm kind of scared now. Never mind. Realm's not gonna flare. I'm just gonna. Well, act. I'm just gonna set her up whacking people with the brush, even though. Okay, so now the fight really begins. This is the only dangerous part of the fight here. Because he can bounce stuff through my reflect with this, and the, those things can actually be dangerous because of that. His magic power seems to be quite high. So hopefully. I've just gotta. I've just got to rely on nothing in particular going wrong. Whack yourself again. Then whack Go-Go, I guess, and then we'll just be going around in circles. Unfortunately, Realm can only get one brush whack in per cycle. So... It may s mostly just increases the odds of things going right. Let's see, hopefully... Those two didn't connect on the, the same person and someone who's not Realm, because Realm healed herself in the in-between. I'll heal Terra this time. Terra's okay, so at least this is going in the right direction. Gogo's okay. So everyone's alive right now, for sure. But I can never tell how long it's going to be for. Region should hopefully make up some of it under all circumstances, thankfully, but... Okay, so let's throw one at Go-Go. Terra's still alive, but that should have been obvious. Go-Go's still alive. And Realm's still alive. Oh boy, he needed that. Not. Oh well, not like I'm gonna complain, but... Okay, if that hit Realm or Go-Go, it's a wash, but if it hit Terra... It didn't hit Terra. Well, at least it didn't kill her. I'll throw the attack at her anyway, because she's the only one who could possibly be at lower HP after that. All of his elemental spells are going to do nothing to Realm or Gogo, but they're the most dangerous thing to Terra. Terra can tank the non-elemental non spells the easiest, though. Okay, let's reset my plans and hit Realm again. So now back to square one, essentially, except he has a bunch of damage on him now, so... Oh. Well, he wasted his turn there, I guess. Let's... whack Terra. Well, actually, it's pointless. She... <laughs> Rum didn't need to do anything in particular that round, but... I might as well get her out of the way anyway, rather than have her bog up the turns. Because she can't double turn yellow under any circumstances. This round's definitely going better than last round. Let's wait to see what he does, because he's getting the next turn. 
okay. It's, uh, it's Delta Attack, which means gonna throw it back at Realm again. Realm's perhaps the most important to keep alive. So... Throw it at Terra. Terra's probably the hardest to keep alive now that I think about it. Considering she takes lots of damage from the elemental spells, where it's a free pass on Realm and Gogo. It's really hard to tell which side of the screen I hit with my brush, which is unfortunate. Let's see, is Gogo alive? Gogo's alive. I probably should have hit Gogo there, wasn't thinking. Since Gogo's been the farthest from getting healed in terms of time, that was probably the worst way I could have possibly put that sentence. Okay, uh, let's whack Gogo with the brush. Let's see if I can just keep the pain train rolling on him. Gogo's still alive, which means everyone's still alive. Because yeah, everyone else has to be at full HP. Good. Wow, that went smoothly. That went really smoothly. So, so yeah, if you didn't realize before... Ah, uh, crud. If you didn't realize before, the only reason why Zone C was even bothered with was for the sake of Terra in that phase. So yeah, now I guess I just gotta wait for them to wake up. Not that it matters, because Region isn't stopped by sleep, so... I'm just going... I'm just essentially waiting for, uh... people to wake up. He can't do anything to me. Reflect covers almost all of his spells. He's got stuff like Stone and Doom. Sleep X doesn't do damage. The only thing he's got left is Storm, and that's not enough by itself. It's... <laughs> so Reflect is essentially just walling this guy. No questions asked. Alright, I didn't move your cursor at all. Wait, I don't know if she was on Osmos or not. It's a, I hate not having the Esper menu, because it means I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom whenever I want to make sure my cursor is on the right side. Wait, I don't need reach an X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7. Yeah, I know how to count, guys. Uh... Let's fire off that Dispel to get rid of his uh, region there. It's not... It's not dangerous to leave this guy any longer, but why bother, right? <laughs> Might as well make this boss go as fast as possible, considering it's got 50k HP here. Alright. So yeah, you just continue with the flare, you should have plenty of MP left, because I nothing went wrong during the fight against Yellow, and I've never had that happen before in any of my test runs, so... That's about as lucky as it gets. Uh, scroll back up to attack. See, he can use Storm, and he can do 500 damage on Terra, which isn't insubstantial, but I don't think he can use it twice in a row, and it just doesn't have enough time to pierce my region if he doesn't use it twice in a row. Because between all my attacks, there's several region ticks going off. And by the way, Morph is almost a defensive buff in some parts of this battle, because non-elemental attacks are a lot of the damage they throw out, and Morph boosts my region ticks. So it ironically ends up almost being defensive, especially in the first phase. Less so in the second, because the he actually has some threatening spells there. But since region is literally my only way of healing, that, well, pretty much, except for my brush. And of course, I'd, if things went into panic mode, I'd probably do something. But you should have seen the last run I had. I mean, of course you couldn't because I forgot to record it, grr. But, <laughs> Terra just got k killed, like, every time, five times in a row. I wasn't, well, at least I assume that's what happened. <laughs> I, I can't even be 100% sure, because there's no recording to check. So, it's kind of almost lost to time what actually happened during that fight. But I think Terra just kept getting murdered over and over again. And... 
It was confusing me, because I was like, could she seriously just be have been killed the last six times? <laughs> like, literally six times that I revived her, and she got killed by a single target attack every single time. It's like, what are you doing, game? RNG, why? Why do you suck? Oh yeah, and Rasp isn't doing anything either with the Reflect on. That's one huge bonus, not having Rasp uh, do anything. Because otherwise I have to throw away all sorts of MP rehealing items. Although I, I think I tend to overvalue those and not use them enough. <laughs> in general. But in cases like this, why bother? I can do the fight just fine without them. It's not even a case of... If I use them, the fight will be easier. It's just maybe a little bit faster, but... I'm not even sure about that. Because it's really awkward. It, it's like really awkward to actually bother going down to the healing items and match MP healing items and using them when I run out. I'm gonna use Osmos one more time to because uh, she can take two uh, Osmoses in her MP pool, and she can also miss a lot. So that's double the reason to use the Osmos a couple times. This time I should remember to set her back up to Flare though. Oh, Terra again. Hello, Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, blue is just an enormous HP tank, <laughs> really. Because he has more time to region than yellow does. But overall, despite being quote-unquote... Well, despite the fact that I think blue is the one making fun of yellow for being an idiot... He's definitely an idiot for even trying to attack me with these spells. At least Mo was doing something. I, I, I called him Mo this time. Last time I called him Larry. I meant Yellow Guy. <laughs> I'm confusing myself here. Hopefully he goes down soon. But yeah, the Stooges definitely needed to have a lot of HP, considering how much of a window of opportunity you have to just beat them around when they're attacking each other. You've just got so much time to act, really. My offense here isn't... I don't think it's particularly great, but... I mean, I've got 3,000 damage flares, that's nothing to sneeze at. Unless you're a wart puck, then you can sneeze at anything, but... Ugh. Well, someone... Someone blocked it, but that was probably just Go-Go. Okay, he's down. Hello, Shemp. How are you today? Would you like to have your portrait painted? I think you would. I, I mean, I, I don't think you look very good as an imp, but, you know, I think it would be just mean not to show you your... Oops, I think I just fired off the ultimate attack. Uh, whoops, I, sor sorry guys. I think I murdered Shemp. I don't think he did anything to deserve this, but... Yeah, he's kind of dead now. <laughs> Sorry. Goodbye. Alright, I should be at full HP after that. So, let's just run out of here. And cross my fingers that I push the record button this time. Spoilers, that's a yes. Left, up, left, up.
There's some random spot that I get stuck in here. Could have sworn it was a couple's faces wide before, but whatever. Hopefully no battles. I mean, they're not particularly dangerous, I don't think, but still, why give it the op why give the oppor game the opportunity? What can go wrong will go wrong. And this took essentially exactly half an hour from the moment that I removed my blindfold. So yeah, nobody gained a level apparently. Everyone's kind of close to gaining a level, but nobody actually did. So, see you next time.